Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and ooh, I have a really super duper duper simple but really fun idea to show you with different kinds of paper. I'm going to be using sheet music and vintage um, dictionary pages, but you could use scrapbook paper. Uh, oh, and I'm also going to be using some brown craft paper. Um, so this is one of those projects that is practically free to make. And um, I was looking around my house. I have little bits of this everywhere because I love vintage paper. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Um, I'd love to know where you're watching from and that I'm not just standing in my craft room talking to myself. Um, feel free to ask questions, all that good stuff. And I'll tell you where I found things as we're going along. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. So I have a few things out just to show you, um, different things that I made. And then I'm gonna show you these and then we're gonna go and I'm gonna show you how to do the basics. Okay, so the last two years in a row, I have made rolled sheet music tree toppers and I built them on a paper plate. This was, I think this is the one that I did two years ago. And um, it's just tubes, like what I'm gonna show you in a minute, and then they're dipped into this kind of glitter, which come from, comes from Walmart. It's Sulin brand extra fine sterling glitter. It's in the craft department and it's like under $5 and it goes a long, long way. So you might have noticed this, because I usually have it sitting up here. I'll put it back after I'm done. Um, right there, just because it's one of my all-time favorite things. Okay, and then I did, I made um, a wreath. I think I've made a couple of them, but this is the one I could put my hands on. This one um, I made using, uh, what were these? Reader's Digest pages that had yellowed, and it has, they were dipped in glitter, I cut them shorter, and it's built on one of these Dollar Tree wreaths that I just covered with paper, and then I made my little tubes and glued them on, and it's lightweight, it's pretty. Um, you could take this idea and turn it into a hundred different styles, depending on what supplies you wanna use. And I just pulled these out of my little floral decorating basket. Um, I believe, I'm pretty darn sure, that these both came from Dollar Tree. It's either Dollar Tree or Walmart, I can't remember. But this is a square wreath form. And here's a larger round wreath form. And it's in this like pewter or brushed nickel or silverish kind of finish which would sort of disappear with the book pages. So you could do that wreath idea um, and you can make it whatever size that you might like. Alrighty. And then I have, um, <laughs> this is not a rolled book page, but this was something I did two or three years ago at Christmas. They're folded um, book page Christmas trees that have glitter on them. Those were fun. And then I have multiple jars around my house that have things like this. Okay, this is sheet music that I picked up at Goodwill. And it was a whole bunch of sheet music that didn't have words on it. And I got it for three or four dollars and I've used it like crazy. Okay, and then this on it, is some of this lace ribbon that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it's nice, you guys. And then I don't know if you guys remember, just recently I got a whole bunch of dried flowers from uh, Goodwill also. You just have to be on the lookout. If you're a thrifter, and I am, absolutely, um, you never know what you're going to find and you just have to be open. And when I saw the flowers, I was like, oh my gosh, I can so totally use those. So this is just a little tie of that lace with a couple little pieces of 
that dried floral poked into it. And the container that it's in is also something that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, so stay with me because I'm going to show you a couple more ideas and then we're going to actually do it and I'm going to show you the speedy way to do it. And I have one other idea to show you. Okay, here's another container. This is sitting on top of my buffet piece in my, um, in my formal dining room. And I just, it ha it, they're tied with little silver ribbon. Can you see that? And then they just have little sparkly sprigs. These, I don't know where they came from. Probably Dollar Tree, as a matter of fact poked in here or there, and this is also something I found at Goodwill. I love this mercury, gra mercury glass looking stuff, and so absolutely, whenever I see it, I always grab it, because you can pick it up for two or three dollars. Um, I don't know, maybe it's not in style anymore, and people don't want to keep, keep it, but I love it, so. So those are kind of the same idea. And then another thing that I really love to do are just these uh, glass cylinders. They can be all different sizes. You can get them. This one came from Home Goods. A friend gave me a gift card for Christmas three or four years ago from there. And so I bought three of these uh, cylinder type glass faces. It's very dusty in like three different sizes. And guess what is in here a whole bunch of this was bigger sheet music that does have words on it and I tied it with jute and the very top some of the tops are dipped in that silver glitter so these are just oh my gosh this idea you can do a ton of different things so let me show you how to do it okay and like I said at the beginning Let's see. Um, you can use any kind of paper. You could use some of this kind of idea. This is brown craft paper. And you can mix this in with, um, with the book pages. That I picked up, I don't know, at Target in the mailing department or something. You could use praise and worship music, a follower follower of mine sent me this and oh, I just love it. You can use old dictionary pages and this right here is volume one of a whole set of vintage dictionary pages um, that I received from my grandmother. We called her Manu. Anyways, she was a teacher and she loved books and she knew that I did too. So they sat in the cabinet for years and years and years just collecting dust and then I decided they were too pretty like look at this oh my gosh I have to pull this page out and do something with it because it's perfect they're too pretty to just have sitting in a cabinet so I started crafting with them look at that anyways the pages in this one have yellowed a little bit and then I have two others of these that I picked up at Goodwill, you just always have to check the book section. And this is a new Britannica Webster dictionary and reference guide. And these pages are a little wider, but it also they also have some beautiful illustrations throughout the book. And so there's tons that you can do with that. And then you could do sheet music, you can do um, you can do um, Reader's Digest. You could do a current book. You can do scrapbook paper. Um, you can do this idea, this rolling idea with just about anything. So let's start with this. Okay, I'm going to find a page or a couple pages and I am going to be using an X-Acto knife. If you're going to use one of these, just be super careful because they're very sharp and I'm basically trying to just cut in here towards the center, okay? And as a follower told me recently, always make sure you put the cap back on it. Um, okay, so I would pull out 
you know, a bunch of pages, depending on how much I was going to be making. All right, and they look like this. You guys, this is the simplest craft ever, but um, you get a really good effect with it. So, oh, and here's some of the ones that I made just out of um, that brown craft paper. You can put lace or jute or vintage buttons on them. You can do all kinds of things. Um, okay, so what I normally do is these have all this blank space around them. I'm going to trim that off. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It does not matter. Nobody's reading this. We're just using this. So this... Um, uh, Britannica Webster Dictionary that I'm using, I'm guessing it's from, I don't know, the 70s or 80s. It's honestly nothing super special. There are probably millions of them printed. And um, I think I paid $3 for it at Goodwill. Uh, you might have some of these hanging around on your bookshelf. Or you might have a sister, mother, grandmother, neighbor, or somebody who has these, or the sheet music. And by the way, you can use xylophone music, you can use trumpet music, you can use marching band music. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay, so I cut the margins off, and then I'm going to cut this into two pieces. Because why roll up a whole entire sheet of paper when really you only need half? Okay, so then what you're going to want to do while you have a, a bulk of it, three or four pages or more, is you're going to want to get it to start to roll. Because you kind of want this rolling shape to be pressed into it. It's easier to work with. Okay, so see, it's got that. And before I came live, I did the exact same thing with a bunch of other pages that I cut out. And I'm just rolling these. The first time I did this, you guys, this is a funny tip. Well, hey, Carol from Michigan, how are you doing? Um, the first time I did this was, I don't know, three or four years ago. And at that time, my youngest son still had, had braces. And he had those little rubber bands for his braces. Um, that, you know, I don't know, they do something. Anyways, I used those because they were the perfect size. But since then, I've thrown all that stuff out, so we're gonna use hot glue. So I have just a stack of this right here. And I'm gonna bring over my hot glue gun, which looks terrible. Let me show you how to clean it. Okay, so this is mine. It's a Sure Bonder Low Temperature Cool Shot Mini from virtually every craft store, under $10, it's low temperature, which is good. And this is a dryer sheet that I have used multiple times. And I just have one stuffed in my craft drawer here where my glue guns are. And it's perfect to get all those strings and stuff off of your glue gun. Okay, so you're just gonna start rolling one piece at a time, and you can roll them as tight as you want. That's totally up to you. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke in a little bit of hot glue on one end, right along the seam, and then I'll do the same thing down here. And it, did I get any even come out? It just takes a very, very teeny amount. And there you go. So, um, I just made like a bazillion of these. This paper from this Webster's Dictionary is quite a bit thinner than the sheet music, which is really nicer to work with because it's heavier, but it will work just fine. And you can doll it up 
or not, however you like. So, for example, when I was making this, I made a whole bunch of tubes and then I cut them different lengths. And then I put some dip pages over the top, you can see them right there, of my um, wreath form. And then I just started laying and gluing these down, winky wonky, winky wonky, and they had all been dipped in the glitter. We're not using glitter today. But, okay, let's make just a couple more of these. You can see that because I already did the band on them, it does make it easier to get that started except for on this one, <laughs> for some reason. Okay, there we go. So, um, you can see how quick you can whip these out. Um, I do... You know, now that I'm rolling these Webster Britannica dictionary pages, I am definitely noticing how much better I like the thicker paper. But it works. Okay, so say you had rolled however many, and also the sheet music that I had was quite a bit larger. It was just in a soft bound sheet music book. And I did the exact same process of cutting out the pages with an exacto knife and cutting the music up the mi middle so you have two pieces per sheet. Okay, so once you get all of these, however many you want, rolled up depending on what your project is, let's make one that kind of looks like this because I think it's so pretty. And these would be lovely. I have one more like this. just sitting like this on a stack of books. Um, they don't necessarily have to go into something like this. Okay, so you're gonna decide how you want to decorate it. And this is some burlap trim that I think came from Dollar Tree. I can't remember when I got it, but you could use something like that. Or you could use some vintage lace that you might decide to cut up, or jute, or really any kind of ribbon you like. And you can also add buttons or little pieces of dried flowers. It's completely up to you. So let's make a couple. Let's do one with this piece of vintage lace that I, I don't even think it's vintage. <laughs> um, I think one of my followers sent this to me, and um, I just decided to see how it might look. So this is what the whole piece looks like, and obviously, I don't think this is vintage. I think this was from a fabric store, now that I'm looking at it closely. Okay, and then I'm one of those kind of people that it would bother me if there was an up or down. It would bother me if I had the words all upside down. So, same with the sheet music. I always look for this. This symbol right here tells me what is up and down. Because sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, so, and you can glue your little doodads on. I'm going to start at the, where I, um, where the seam is. And you can glue your little doodads on as high or as low as you want. What do you guys think about this idea? Do you like it? I know it's super simple, but sometimes the simpler crafts are, can actually turn out pretty nice, I think. And of course, I love the ones that are free or practically free to make. Okay, so I put a little piece of lace on that, and then we could take some jute and go right 
around it a few times. I want to just give you some ideas. So there's one idea. Um, you, if you're going to do like a container, I would probably do, you know, the same thing to tie all the bellies closed if you're going to do that. Um, okay, so let's do one with some of this. Um, some of this burlap trim. Take this back down. Cute craft. Thank you. These would be great on a tiered tray. Yes, I totally agree. You could make them whatever length would work for your tray. And I think and they'd be a great addition. And you can also add some little doodads to them that are seasonal if you wanted. Okay, so we're gonna use we're gonna try using some of this. Probably don't need very much because these are pretty skinny. You could um, decide that you were going to do all of it at exactly the same middle point of these rolls, or uh, or lower or far, higher or whatever you want. Okay, so I have that on there. And then you could do something like add some vintage mother of pearl buttons, which, let me see if I can get a piece, no, I'm not going to get a piece of jute in there. Um, that are in terrible shape you guys these won't cut fabric anymore but they will cut paper and I didn't do a good job of cutting straight but you could do the edges with some scrapbook scissors or pinking shears and then I used that same lace from Dollar Tree and I just put a little um, button on there and then here's one like the one we just did with some of that vintage lace and some jute and you could stick a whole bunch of these plain or jazzed up, whatever you like, in um, some container. But I did want to show you what these little silver ties look like. Um, this is the most inexpensive ribbon. It's from Walmart. It's at the very top of the ribbon shelf. It's like 95 cents or a dollar and eight cents or something, a roll of it. And um, this is the sparkly silver. And when you're going to put something in like a um, mercury glass container or with a silver display or something, I think it's nice to just add some little silver ribbons for a pop of color. What else did I want? Oh, I almost forgot this one thing. This is a project that we whoops, will do in the future. But... Um, and I was just playing with this this morning. Oops. Um, you've seen these little cones, these little paper cone posies before, laying on top of like a stack of books. Or you can hang them. So imagine this is out, something like that. Um, so I was just playing around with figuring out how to fold or roll the paper to get this look. And then these are some of the little dried flowers that I picked up at Goodwill. I used some of that burlap lace. I used a little uh, button. What do you guys think about that? Isn't it cute? 
Um, so this will be a future project, uh, but it's the same kind of idea. So let me see if there's questions. Um, feel free to sprinkle if you have friends that love anything vintage or love craft projects that are practically free or just that love to do crafts that are, you know, a little bit, I don't know, unexpected or different from all the gnomes and other business that you see right now out in the craft circles. Um, so feel free to sprinkle if you would like. Let me just pull these other two things out here real quick. Oops. So there really are tons, tons, tons of things that you can do with rolled paper. And do I go to the Nazarene Church? I do not, but a friend of mine, she's asking about this hymnal, I'm assuming, a friend of mine, a Facebook friend of mine, a follower, um, knew that I had been looking, looking, looking for a hymnal and having no luck whatsoever. And I guess her church was, I don't know if they were getting new hymnals or what the store, or if she found them at a at an antique mall, or I don't know, I can't remember what the story was where she found it, but she sent it to me, and it is precious. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. I mean, it, this wasn't in good shape. You can see the bindings falling apart. People had probably used these and sung these hymns in church for many years, which makes it all the more precious to me. So, uh, let's see. Any other burning questions? I do plan, if you're watching this live, I am planning to go live again a little bit later this afternoon uh, with something really fun for Easter. So, I'll let you know about what time. How do I do the tree topper? Well, I have a whole video where I did it, but let me just tell you the quick basics. Okay. You make the tubes exactly the same as what I showed you. And then you dip each one, the end of a tube, in some, I, I use that Eileen's Tacky Glue. It's that really thick, it's like Elmer's glue, sort of, but thicker in that. And then I dipped it in a little bowl that I have filled with this glitter. Sue Lynn's extra fine glitter in Sterling from Walmart. Let all those dry, and they were different lengths. And then I just built it on the back. This is a paper plate. Uh, I'm all about using whatever you have whenever possible. So I just started at the outside and glued a whole round of them. Then I moved in a little bit and glued a whole round of them. And then I glued this one, the center ring, and then this was a um, wood little piece, a little wood shape from Dollar Tree that I painted with that glue and put the um, glitter on. So that was all on the paper plate and then I just did a little loop with another paper plate over the top so that it could sit on my Christmas tree. And da -da -da. I do have two videos. If you wanna look through my videos, just scroll way, way, way down. Um, two different ones. One of them I did like a half moon the first time, but all, still on a paper plate. Um, so I do have two video tutorials on this that you can look at there on here on DIY Dreaming under the videos tab. Everything is labeled, so just scroll, 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 scroll. Um, keep on going until you until you land on it. Let's see. Have I made ornaments? Oh my word. I have done so many different things with sheet music. Yes, I've made tons of ornaments. I've made tassels. I put these on my Christmas tree. I use different kinds of ribbon. And these are just, this is just sheet music that is cut in strips. And this is a champagne cork. That's an eye hook screw, some jute, some beads, and a little bit of ribbon. Looking around my craft room, I've made Christmas trees. I've done a lot of decoupage. 
with sheet music like this was something I made during one of the Christon craftings not too long ago. I think it was around October or November. And these are some rusty nails. I'm not even kidding. Oh, one of my lights just went out if you noticed that it got dark. Um, I found these nails when we were in Canada up at, we have a little family cottage up in the Georgian Bay and they were laying on the rocks right next to the water. I had no idea how long they had been there, but I grabbed a few of them and brought them home knowing that I could do something cool with them. So I made this and then I also made, there's one over here, this. Same idea as well. So yes, I love book pages. Um, I have done Mod Podge with book pages, ornaments. Oh, we made the, these for Valentine's Day one or two years ago. We made hearts with glitter, and then I hung them on some little branches that ha I have in the vase in the kitchen. We also made those uh, chain book page um, garlands that were glittered. So... I don't know. I don't need to keep talking about what I've done with book pages, but honestly, book pages are one of my favorite things to craft with. So stick around here or come back. Make sure you've liked and followed this page, DIY Dreaming, that you have your notifications turned on, that you say something to me in the comments, that you do a heart or a thumb or something like that, and you're bound to see book page something or sheet music something at least once a month here on DIY Dreaming because it's seriously my absolute favorite. And I'm just looking around my little craft room to see what else do I have. Oh, I see something else. I know I have lots, lots, lots more, but <laughs> this was two or three years ago. This is a vintage thread spool. And this is a little flower. And these are Dollar Tree cookie sheets, glitter, and these were some little um, flowers that I made with vintage sheet music. Oh gosh, I haven't looked up here in a while. I'll have to get all that. Oh, here's another thing. Let me show you these two. Okay, here, these were these little angels that we made with clothespins. That's the back. Here's the front of our little angel. And um, <laughs> this was a very different craft. This is a flower that I made out of vintage sheet music and that cork, those cork sheets that you can get from Dollar Tree. And then this is a champagne cork in the center. So yes, if, you're, if this is the first time you're watching me here on DIY Dreaming, you're probably thinking, oh my word, <laughs> this girl is crazy for sheet music and book pages, and I am, but I promise you, I don't use it every single day. So if you don't, if this isn't, isn't your jam, please still come back because you'll see lots and lots of other ideas that are, um, I think, equally as fun uh, that don't necessarily involve book pages. So, all right, you guys will have a wonderful rest of your morning. I do plan to be back a little bit later with a fun uh, Easter craft project for you. Okay, see you later. Well, let me just come around. <laughs>